you know, hundreds of thousands have been evacuated from the Otefaza area. That's the area that's like the border right alongside Gaza. Uh, the kids especially are finding it very tough. The Sean Thompson came from South Africa. Now, if you don't know the name Sean Thompson, he's a very major league the surfer. Everybody in South Africa knows who he is. There he is, right? He's over there to the right. He came to, from South Africa here to Israel to surf with the evacuated kids. He's doing it through an organization that's called Hagaz Shali, which is an association that is helping these kids uh, all throughout the area. Area around in Gaza. Uh, he, is join, he is joining us with Amir Suraski, and he, they're joining us from Bat Yam. Good morning, both of you. Hi there. It's great, it's great to be here in Israel, and it's wonderful to see these uh, young boys and girls that have been uh, evacuated and through surfing get hope and, and, and some, some more purpose. Sean, tell me, why did you feel the need to come? Well, I actually live in the United States. I've lived in the United States now for 30 years, and I go around the world lecturing at schools, universities, prisons about the empowering aspect of surfing. And I'm a Jew. I was uh, the only Jewish world surfing champion. And I thought it was my duty to come here to share solidarity, to share support, to share hope, and uh, to connect with these young people that have been through terrible, terrible tragedy. I went to Kafir Aza the other day. I went to Berry and just saw the enormity of the destruction and the murderous uh, rampage. And, and, and I've come here just to share hope through surfing and, and show that, that our hearts are with Israel. Sean, what is it about surfing that does, I mean, when you're out there, you're out in the ocean, what, what's the feeling like, what, what, you talk about empowerment, what's the empowerment that the kids get? That so you share? When I talk to the kids, so, so when I talk to the kids, that first moment when you stand up on a surfboard, so surfers call it being stoked. It's this, incredible feeling of exhilaration, but it also gives you a great burst of self-esteem. And that's what I talk to kids about is power. In this sense of being powerless through this terrible rampage and destruction, surfing can give you that feeling of power. And I encourage children and people all over the world, millions of people have done this simple process. Write your code, 12 lines, every line beginning with I will, write down your future. So in the face of this terrible destruction of the past, Give these young kids a chance at a new wave. And the new wave is going to be about power, and the new wave is going to be about writing your code, 12 lines, every line beginning with I will. So it's just the sense of empowerment in the face of desolation, loss, and, 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 and a lack of power. Amir, let me talk to you about what, what Sean just talked about. Tell me more about, first of all, tell me a little bit about Hagal Shali, and then tell me a little bit about why, what the kids are getting out of it. And who, who are these kids? Perfect. So uh, Hagal Shili is an NGO that worked for the last 10 years. Uh, around all the shore of Israel, we have 10 spots uh, that we teach our children a lot of tools from the ocean to their lives. Uh, it's really special. We have all the uh, teenagers of Israel. They can be Muslims and Jews, and uh, we work with them. Um, and right now, from the 7th of October, we are understand that it's necessary that Hagal Shali will be with those teenagers and help them to cure their trauma uh, from what happens in the 7th of October. And they need a safe place. They need to get uh, the control back to their lives. What are and they the feeling, Amir? Tell me what they feel, what, how are they feeling? What are they feeling with the surfing? No, no, with the, like why they came, when they come to you, what, what, uh, what, uh, what are the emotions they're experiencing? They have a lot of uh, like self-esteem is really low. They think they have no control of their lives. They sit in uh, more than 20 hours with no control and with no, uh, they feel they're going to die. It's really hard to explain the feelings of those teenagers. And when they come here, you can see it immediately when uh, they struggle to, uh, to smile, they struggle to talk. Even not their emotions, the, the minimum thing of talking, they are just sitting with silence and think all the way back of what happens uh, with their trauma. And now? Uh, and right now, it's, it's just beautiful to see it. You can see the smile on their faces. Yeah, it's wonderful. Day. It's wonderful. Today, I spoke to the kids to see the, the joy, and, and I get the kids to shout it out. I will. It was power, power, power. So. We really try to um, encourage the kids to find this passion again, to find this sense of control 
through surfing and also to find this connectedness. You know, these right. kids, Arab kids, Israeli kids, they sit together, they hear uh, uh, stories about surfing and then they go out and experience it together. So you create this wonderful sense of engagement in this terrible disengaged world. Sean, give me 30 seconds. What's the most surprising thing you from your trip here? You know, the most surprising thing is that life is going on and Israelis have this amazing resilience um, and determination that this too will pass, that the sun is gonna rise tomorrow, that there's tremendous hope, um, but this has been seared into the collective consciousness and no one will ever forget this and and things, there has to be a, a profound change and. And, and there's just this desperation for peace. Israelis just want peace. They do indeed. They do indeed. Sean Thompson, legend of surfing, Sean Thompson, and Amir Saraski of, of the Hagal Shali Foundation, thank you both for joining me live from Batyam. Thanks again. Uh, and I'd like oh. to thank Shabbat Surf for bringing me out here. It's been awesome. Excellent. Thank, thank you both. I hope a lot more teenagers get uh, go hang 10 or hang Esser, I guess would be in Hebrew. Um, thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us.